This week in Nerf, we've got new High Crush motors, new Sci-Fi blasters, and Strife's running brushless setups that are open source. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday morning, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Jumping right on in, if you watch the channel normally, yesterday you would have seen my Fang revamped review went up. That's right, I want to talk about these really quick because uh, just in case you missed that, it is important, it is news to bring up. These are new 2S 130-sized motors that have sintered neodymium magnets, um, all kinds of goodies inside these motors. Check the review out. I'll go, I go further into depth there with them. But uh, needless to say, I was surprised by the performance. Uh, I was hitting over 160 with AccuFakes on a 2S in a high crush setup. And that was insane. Uh, so much so that I'm actually curious to see what other people get with similar setups. And uh, yeah, I've been pleasantly surprised, but very, very much looking forward to seeing what people do in the community with these motors as they fill another small niche uh, for plenty of different build types. We now have motors for just about every type of build. These can work for really high crush setups. Things, these even work for eclipse cages. So uh, these are a really cool addition, in my opinion, to the market for motors currently. But like I said, go check the review out. I will have that link down below and it'll be at the end of the video as well. Now, I said sci-fi blasters at the beginning of the episode and uh blades on uh discord or reddit as well he was searching through the orange mod works singapore website and noticed that on the banner that scrolls across the top there was a blaster or a kit that he didn't recognize and hadn't been announced that i'm aware of at least maybe i missed this but this image is of what looks like could be a recon mark ii kit that looks really sci-fi, really interesting. I like the aesthetic. Uh, personally, I hope that there's a base blaster to go with it that isn't a Recon Mark II. Something along the lines of like the, how the Prophecy shell is its own blaster along with the Prophecy kit. I would like to see a shell to go with this kit as well because, I don't know, I, I just want a complete contained system as opposed to having to use a Recon Mark II and have to paint that to get it to match the aesthetic of this blaster, or this kit, rather. So that's that's my kind of fingers crossed. Maybe this is just like a render of something they're potentially working on or thinking about. Maybe it wasn't meant to go up yet. I don't know, but this is interesting. And if this does come about, I like the way it looks just without the Recon Mark II base. So I really hope we can get something different other than that. Or maybe they are doing something that looks just similar to the Recon Mark II, but they're producing it themselves with that handguard and the, just the angles and all of that. I don't know though. Um, definitely curious. Definitely looking forward to find out when they make an announcement. I may try and reach out to them and see if I can get any information. And of course, as usual, I will share that with you if I do get any. But that is, um, I don't know, I, I like that we're seeing more and more of these blaster or blaster kits that uh, third-party companies are making. So I always welcome these additions. Knowing Orange Mod works, it looks like that barrel there as well kind of looks similar to the um, the Retaliator kit, the stage three of the Retaliator kit that had the barrel a while back. It looks somewhat similar to that. So I think this will have internal performance upgrades as well as external aesthetic upgrades. So that's that's my initial thoughts on that leaked image and what it could potentially be. So moving on, something that I've wanted to talk about on this show for quite a while now, and that is Ultrasonics 2 Ultra Strife. This is, this is an open source brushless system for Strifes. This is something he has made available for the Strife, the Raven, and I believe some other blasters as well. But this is just a really cool thing that he has been doing and the performance looks pretty awesome on it. Now, I haven't been able to test one of these setups myself, but I certainly wouldn't mind having one in the future. He has been posting numbers around 200 FPS, that 190 to 200 FPS range for a single stage brushless setup, which is 
pretty awesome. Uh, I definitely, uh, definitely want to get my hands on one of these to try myself. I think it's really cool that he has made this open source and it's not something that requires an exorbitant amount of 3D printing. It's just the cage and, uh, and I believe a couple other small components maybe, but it's not like you need to print out an entire blaster. Um, I know we've seen people do entire re reworks of the FDL2, which is awesome. I love that that's something that can be done that's available. I think that's really cool. But I also think this is really cool that people can take shells that exist already so they don't have to print out an entire 3D shell or they really like the way a certain blaster looks and they can drop a cage in that gets crazy performance. And he, I believe he uploaded his code as well for the ESCs and everything to get all of that working. Along with that, he has guides and videos on how to go through these things, which makes this awesome and just a good community resource. And you know, I love community resources. I think they are just great things. And this is another one I would love to see more ultra stripes at games and just see people pushing the boundaries and pushing the limits of what they can do with their builds and just giving people more options because options are great and they make the world go round and they make our hobby better and better every single day. Now, with that said, let's move to our mod of the week, which comes to us from Mitch Essinger. Essinger? Essinger? Probably should have asked on how to pronounce that one. My apologies. But... Since we're talking about Ultra Strifes, why don't we look at an Ultra Strife build? This is the Ultra Strife Bolter, and I thought this was so cool. Not only are we talking about Ultra Strifes this week, but Mitch posted a build of his Ultra Strife to the Nerf Modders Welcome page, and uh, I thought it was really cool. I personally love Warhammer 40,000 and Warhammer Fantasy, but uh, this Bolter look is from Warhammer 40,000, Space Marine Bolter, and I, as long as I have nerfed, I have always thought it would be so cool to have a bolter nerf blaster. And Mitch has gone ahead and done it. He, he's, he's got all the looks down pretty, pretty well on point. Uh, even the litanies and other little aesthetic bits. I dig it. I think this is really cool. And I love that he's actually pushed this, by the way. He's pushed his Ultra Strife build to 4S. It's not on 3S or anything like that. It's up to 4S, which is definitely interesting. And uh, I just, I love seeing these things. I love seeing aesthetic and functional mods put together and doing fantastic things. So definitely check that out. The link is down below as always it is a build worth taking a moment to look at that's going to bring us to our video of the week and that comes to us from mr nathan this is his video on the topic of first and i think this is a really good video for everyone to watch whether you agree with his sentiments or you disagree with them i think it's worthwhile to have this discussion talk about these things and put these topics out there and he's doing it in a very approachable way and I just think it's a worth it's worth watching it's worth taking you know 10 minutes to discuss this and just look at both sides of things and maybe think about what your perspective is and add into the conversation by having this conversation discussing these things in respectable polite conduct uh, uh, productive ways it helps us grow as a community. So that's why I wanted to, to, to highlight this video this week. It's not a build, it's not a blaster, but it focuses more on our community as a whole. And I think the health of our community is a very important thing because if that goes downwards, the whole hobby goes downwards. So I want the best community we can have here. And I think pretty much everyone here can agree with that. I don't think there's many people that wanna say, no, let's make it bad. I think we all want the best for this community. And I think having these good discussions are a great way to do so. So thank you, Mr. Nathan, for making that video. And I believe uh, I've already seen one or two response videos to that. So definitely, definitely check those out as well. But if you want to watch that video, it's going to be right over here because we are at the end of the episode. So let me know what you thought about everything. The new Fang Motors. Uh, what do you think of that, that kit from Orange Mod Works and the Ultra Strife and all that stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. We do this every single Saturday, 7 a.m. for the Nerf News. And we do gameplay and reviews as well during the week. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.